He said, ma'am, I need nothing. My life is now my greatest gift. I have my life. Uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Cut the shit, Oprah. Next time, I'm gonna need you to add a little bit more emotion. Second of all, I know you lied. You wanna know how? You said this man was in a fire that was so hot, his legs were popping. But when you met him, you asked him, did he need anything? And he said, no, I'm just grateful to have my life. Bitch, I just met Oprah and you think I'm gonna just say that? That's over with, I want a new Bugatti. I want a house in my name. Bitch, I just lost it all. Stop lying, bruh. Then on top of that, you brought these people towels and blankets as if they got wet. Motherfucker, I am scorned, burned, singed. And you gonna bring me a blanket? I'd be pissed off if the first thing I seen getting out of a house fire is Oprah Winfrey, a camera crew, and a goddamn quilt. I'd be pissed off. Hell no, man. This shit unacceptable. You over here, mate. You damn near this is this is adding insult to injury, Oprah. You ain't bring no aloe vera, no butter, no motherfucking water. Nigga, something to help these folks. You brought blankets. Have you ever been hot? Do you? Do you know how mad a motherfucker would get if they hot and you throw a blanket on them? I damn near slap you upside the goddamn head you do some shit like that to me. Now look, I respect all grandmamas. So Oprah do know that this is coming from a loving place. Not really. I don't fuck with you. But what I'm saying is, you lying. And that's adding insult to injury to these people that done lost it all. You better give them something. Talking about something they don't want nothing. Why the fuck you buying all that land? Let them get a house in their name. Don't put shit in your name and don't build no tunnel under my house. Yeah, that's the deal. And Joe Biden, boy, if, if this video wasn't about Oprah, I'd get on your shit too. Because $700 ain't shit. Emergency funds. What the fuck I'm going to do with $700? With the way shit going, I need me another Glock. And that's 500 nigga. Crazy as hell, man. Our government fucked up, y'all. Y'all. I know y'all know this, but the thing is, we need to stop thinking these people are good people. We just need to understand they evil. Nobody need to be scared of death. Everybody need to be ready to war.